Hey guys, welcome to the video. I am so fucking pumped to be talking about Electric Forest today because I am finally going. After buying my tickets three years ago, it's finally happening. Guys, I cannot wait to meet the Forest fam. I'm so pumped. So in today's video, I'm just going to be sharing um, a couple things. My camping checklist and what I plan on packing, how I'm preparing, what my plans are like this is like a full-blown planning video because I haven't really done anything about electric forest yet and then I'm gonna have a follow-up video where I'm gonna share my outfits because I've pretty much I think I've ordered everything now and it's starting to come in so we're like two months out this is crazy um for any of my campers I did create a free um downloadable festival camping checklist so I will link that down below in the description box it's like a four page pdf so it'll take out any of the guesswork just print that out or put it on your phone and you know look at that when you start to pack um so this is going to be a longer video grab a snack grab a drink and let's dive in Okay, so quick background on my trip for any of you guys who are new here or it's been a minute since I bought my tickets. I got them in December 2019 and I bought them with my little Tara and her brother Eric. Um, we went to EDC 2019 together and I don't know if they've done a festival since. So I'm bringing them with me. I am doing um, GA camping and I'm doing group camping with the Lunchbox fam. I think we have like 40 to 45 people. So that will be really cool. Um, and I am flying. I had considered driving it. In, but we did decide to fly um, I'm going to be going from Newark to Grand Rapids and then we are renting a car and we're driving so I'm going to get into all that in a second but that's sort of like the background here um, so my checklist is obviously going to be different than somebody who's driving because you guys obviously one of the pros of that is you can pack so much more stuff which is why I was considering driving but um, this is what I'm going to bring now knowing that we have to fly and fit everything in um, and I'll give you guys like our game plan here and then some tips and advice as well so here's our game plan because we are doing group camping and I would recommend this for you guys as well we had one of our friends Peyton step up and he is like organizing the chaos so he's been amazing he's been sending group surveys around to get like a feel of um, who's coming who's going to be in what car who has early passes um, what activities we want to do together and then we're going to follow up and have like a camping supply checklist so we can see like okay if you guys can't bring this somebody else is going to provide that like a cookware or something like that so if you do have a group camp or you are just like driving in with a bunch of friends um, I would definitely recommend like starting to get organized and getting some google sheets and surveys together um, so that's been really great so what we are doing, we are flying in on Tuesday, which was recommended by my good friend Vibe with Aid. Um, and we are going to just do a hotel and then we're going to pick up our rental car. And then we are doing early arrival camping on Wednesday, which came highly recommended. That way, like we have the whole day to set up. We're not in a rush and the festival doesn't start like that afternoon. So I think we're very happy we're doing that. Um, I don't know the cost yet of the rental car, but flights were, of course, super expensive. Two years ago, it was like half the price. So what I am personally flying with, let me give you guys my checklist. I'm pretty sure I I have to go check to see if it fits but I'm gonna bring a tent I bought a six person tent it was a wedding gift there's only three of us so hopefully that will give us like plenty of room and hopefully like that fits in my suitcase I'm gonna bring a sleeping bag I have a compact one and I have a compact um, like sleeping pad that you can blow up to go under it I'm gonna bring my eye mask earplugs for sure I bought like a quick dry towel from Amazon that I'll link up here um, that like dries really fast I'm obviously going to bring toiletries, all my outfits, shoes, flip flops, stuff for rain. So rain jacket, rain boots, because I've heard weather can be temperamental. Um, any tapestries, flags, like anything to mark your campground, um, which is like a pro tip because you don't want to like lose your shit in the shuffle of all of the tents. Um, and then I'm going to bring like plenty of daytime outfits when it's hot and then plenty of nighttime things to layer when it gets cold. I'm definitely going to bring games with me, like card games and things like that. Um, hydration pack for sure, bringing my lunchbox, sunscreen, hat, sunglasses. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, speakers for sure. My Raverade, shout out Raverade, keeping me hydrated all weekend. I will never travel without that for a festival. Um, I'm going to bring my canteen, my water bottle canteen, so I can just refill that. And then lastly, things to give away, which is a big thing in the forest. Um, I just printed new business cards and they have like different nice sayings on them so I can hand those out to people. And I'm going to bring other gifts and candy and all that good stuff. 
So this is what I'm going to be buying in person. And again, um, I would recommend checking out Vibe with AIDS channel, Ashley Gauthier's channel, and the Festival Finessers channel, uh, Living by the F Word as well. They all have done Electric Forest and have tons of videos on it and have really good um, videos on camping as well at festivals. So I will link their information down below. But what we will be buying in person, we are going to be placing an order to a Walmart either near Grand Rapids or on the way to Electric Forest. So that way um, we just know the stuff is in stock because we're placing the order ahead and then we're just picking it up and they literally like package it all together and they just drop it off to you. So we, we did that at EDC Las Vegas too and it was really good. So I'm personally, I think we're going to buy a canopy to give us some shade um, and to like hang out during the day. We're obviously going to buy a cooler so we can keep our drink, drinks and food cold. Um, probably going to buy like two camping chairs, I would say, food, alcohol. I'm buying a fucking pillow this time because last time I brought this janky ass pillow <laughs> that was like blow up and I didn't sleep because of it. It was horrendous. I'm buying a full blown pillow and a blanket. Uh, battery operated fan, a mirror. I'm pretty sure you have to have a plastic mirror. Um, tarp, scissors, tape, obviously like uh, garbage bags, utensils, cups, any of that stuff. Um, and then a folding table, possibly. But again, it depends on what the group is bringing. But since we're probably going to be buying a lot of our meals, I'll see if we need that or not. And then a lot of people buy portable showers. I don't think we're going to buy one. But again, it's my first time. So any of my veterans, you let me know what you think is best. Um, I'm going to budget a little bit on the side to be able to like buy all my meal meals and do the showers. Um, and then of course we'll buy water, but preferably not water bottles. We'd rather get like the big jugs of water. So that is everything we are buying. Again, download the free camping festival checklist because there's so much more than I just mentioned. Um, and then go check out those channels that I mentioned. Those are great resources. Alrighty, diving in more. So for our arrival, this is our game plan. So as mentioned, we are staying in a hotel Tuesday. So we're going to wake up on Wednesday and then I'm not sure if we're getting a rental car Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, but we're going to have a rental car and then we're going to go straight to the Walmart where we're going to pick up our groceries and then we'll go straight to group camp um, where our spot will already be reserved which is a really nice thing about group camp because otherwise it's like first come first serve so if you are planning to camp with other groups of people you guys need to like arrive at the same time um, so just coordinate that so that you guys can be situated near each other but I think we're just going to like set up our camp at our leisure take it easy, hang out, like do what we got to do and then like get some rest before the craziness. Um, and then I'm personally planning on leaving like a lot of my valuables in the car because I'm pretty sure you can, I'm not actually not sure with group camping. You guys can let me know if your car is still parked next to you. Hopefully that's the case. Um, and then some general camping tips, like I mentioned, Bring something to denote your tent so you can find it. So whether that's like light up fairy lights or a totem or a flag, like um, I'm pretty sure the street, like they have names so you can find things. And again, for us, since it's a group camp, will probably be easier to find. But, you know, make sure you mark it so you can find your stuff. Bring a flashlight for sure. Um, not just the one on your phone because you're going to be going in porta potties. It's going to be gross. So they have like mini flashlights you can like hook onto your keys or something like that or your hydration pack. So definitely bring one of those. The quick dry towel was great in Vegas. It dries so fast. So definitely recommend bringing that. Um, again, weather is going to be temperamental. So pack layers, hot, cold, rain, rain boots, anything you could possibly need to be prepared for that. Um, I would also recommend getting your hair braided as something for my ladies, gentlemen. Um, I'm definitely going to do it part of the weekend for sure. It's just so much easier. And when somebody else does it, um, it lasts so long. So I'm probably going to get my hair braided like either Thursday or Friday and just wear it like that the rest of the weekend so I don't even have to like worry about my hair. Um, body wipes or a portable shower like I mentioned, whatever you want to do. Um, you could definitely just shower at your campsite instead of doing the showers. Um, it's a very different situation if you have VIP though. I'm pretty sure that's like all taken care of. So uh, the other things I've heard is that it gets really, really hot in the morning. So bringing some sort of shade, a canopy, anything that can like block the sun from directly hitting your tent because that's going to be rough. I 
can't wait to experience this stuff, guys. Um, but yeah, I think those are kind of all the tips. Again, I'm a newbie, so that's kind of all I know for right now. Um, how I'm preparing for the festival itself. Listen, listen, Linda, it's a four day festival. OK, I've never done a full blown camping festival. I've only done Camp EDC. I've camped plenty of times in my life, but I'm just walking into this like totally fresh, mentally ready just to experience it all. Honestly, um, going in very open minded. I just want to like explore, 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 which is why I'm going early and I'm probably going to go into the festival early every day because there's just so many art installations and crazy shit and performers and like stuff that's like hidden in the forest and I want to experience it all. So I just want to like have time to explore during the day and at night. So I feel like I'm going to be pretty loose with my schedule. Um, even just looking at the lineup, there's a lot of artists I want to see, but then there's a lot that I'm like totally open to seeing as well. Um, and like I mentioned, I'm going to bring extra like gifts and goodies for this festival. I don't always bring like fun little items to give out, but for this one, I feel like forest lends itself to that part of the culture so I have like little surprises that I picked up for friends and family and then like strangers as well <laughs> there's nothing fucking better than like giving something funny and like entertaining somebody you're making them like feel better so yeah we're bringing all of those things and then for leaving the festival lastly um our flight is in the evening on Monday so we're probably still gonna have to get up early and just like take down our campsite clean everything up you guys leave no trace um, and then for us, if there's anything we can't fit in our luggage, I think we're going to try and allocate that to the people who drove so they can just like take it home and it won't go to waste. Um, but we're going to have to figure out that situation. And then that's it. And then that's all a forest. But um, yeah, very, very excited about it. Like I said, I'm going to have a separate video on what I plan on wearing every day, but I'm kind of I don't really know what to expect so I'm kind of just going in with the mentality of like so many things could change just be prepared um have everything that I think I might need and enjoy it it's going to be the best fucking time ever and I can't wait to do it so that's kind of what I'm thinking right now lastly I do want to mention nothing is officially planned as of yet but I will for sure be doing meetups at Electric Forest because I took a break from doing them but there's going to be a big lunchbox meetup. My girl Vibe with AIDS is going to be there and like this is her home. So there's probably going to be multiple throughout the whole weekend. So just um, stay tuned at Emma Capotis on Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. That's the best place to stay informed about everything I've got going on. And I'll post like all of the details on the meetups there. Um, come hang out. Come say hi. Let's trade candy. Let's hang out. It's going to be the best time ever. And I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you're new here and you want more rave and festival content, please hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss an upload. All right, comment below if you guys are going to eForest, if I'm going to see you there. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Fall into you.